YouTube, welcome back to another Pounds 978 Customs video. And right now we have Iron Man from the Venomverse. Not necessarily from the Venomverse, but Venomized. There is no Iron Man in the Venomverse, but I figured I was doing a bunch of Venomverse characters. Why not add Iron Man to the list? Plus, with all this Venom hype going around after the trailer, why not? This is actually my own design. This isn't from any comic or any inspiration pictures. This was just something I just made up on my own. Before I had any ideas of making Iron Man from the Venomverse, intentionally I wanted to make a Cyborg Spider-Man again. And it's the same recipe from the Cyborg Spider-Man I made a while back. If you guys remember that, if you don't, check this card real quick. But yeah, it's the same recipe, um, War Machine. This isn't War Machine, this is Iron Patriot. The same body as War Machine. It's just the colors were different, so this was a lot of red and blue where War Machine was already black. It would be probably better to use War Machine, but I had already used my War Machine, so all I had left was Iron Patriot. But again, this was supposed to be a Cyborg Spider-Man. Instead of doing that, I just thought of something else in the middle of the Venomverse customs, and I thought, why not? And to be honest, I am very happy I did do this. This is pretty cool. I like the way the mouth looks. Where Iron Man would light up, it would look like these teeth light up, kind of almost like digital teeth. If you want to make this custom, all you need is a war machine or an Iron Patriot body, some sculpt for the eyes, some new hands, and have a field day painting. Now, the reason why I use War Machine, if you guys are asking, if it's Iron Man, why didn't you use an Iron Man body? Well, War Machine is bigger, so I figured if, if Iron Man gets attached with the symbiote, then he would be bigger. Now, I know a lot of people say it doesn't make sense for a symbiote to attach to a robotic suit, but then again... The symbiote attached to Ghost Rider and he's flames and that's one of his weaknesses so that doesn't make any sense at all either anyway the spider was created just trying to follow what the suit design already had in it so I was just kind of like painting inside some of the crevices trying to shape out a spider to the best that I can and then add my own lines that you know it's hard to really explain how the spider came about I've never really been good at like freehanding anything. Everything I've ever drawn in my life, I had to look at. I am pretty pleased with the design overall. The backside, I didn't do a spider because I it just I wouldn't be able to do the exact same spider because the panels on his back don't line up the same way in the front, so it just it would look different. As far as posing this guy around, you should have no issues. The head goes left, it does go right. You can get it up and it does go down. Your shoulder pads also go up and down. You have free motion with this arm. You can raise it and you can spin it. You get the double jointed elbow. You get this bicep swivel too as well. Forgot to tell you about that. The rings of the ringe. <laughs> the wrist swivel and hinge. Here's something Venom like. The spider gets bigger when you crunch his ab up or the diaphragm. When you move the diaphragm joint up, the spider gets bigger. And it's smaller when you crunch it down. It's kind of like Venom when you grow. And you should be okay with moving this around without scraping that white. So I thought that's pretty cool. But in a way, when you lift it up, it looks like a beetle. Another reason why I decided to use this body was, out of all the Iron Man I've come across, this is probably one of the best articulated iron suits anyway. This one and the Iron Man that came before this from the Thanos wave. Those two Iron Man are probably the best articulated ones. A lot of the other ones have a lot of issues. And as good as they look as far as design goes, it's just not enough for me to pick up so I stopped collecting Iron Man figures I used to have a ton of Iron Man figures um, and this was one of my collection figures I had for a long time I almost sold it actually I almost gave away all my Iron Man figures but I held on to them and I'm actually glad I did because they came in handy other than that vintage Iron Man that just came out what Iron Man gives you the splits like this and the Thanos wave Iron Man other than those three I don't believe there's an Iron Man that splits like this and sure we don't need a split for the iron man i mean it's not necessary but i'd like to have that option his legs don't kick up as high because um the metal suit gets in the way so i had to trim down a little bit on the hip area above the crotch popping his head off you can see a blue peg which would tell you that this was iron patriot and not war machine for the iron man head i shaved down all the lines that the mask had and the eyes I sculpted over the face to make it flat and then I sculpted eyes on top of that and the rest is just a paint job 
Let me show you some work in progress pictures really quick. So after painting the head, I thought it looked kind of cool. And I continued on and painted some of the body after I prepared the entire thing. And then I posted a picture on Instagram. And I did get a lot of love. Um, someone, though, did inbox me. So shout out to you, Diego C 2187 Y'all should give him a follow, man, because this guy gave me a great idea. He inboxed me and he said, Hey, man, I saw your Iron Man Venom custom you were doing, and I have a little suggestion as to how to make it look even more awesome. And he just drew up some red inside the mouth. And I thought, ah, hmm, that's a good idea. It looks good. Thanks. If I do that, I'll shout you out. And he was like, awesome. Thank you, man. And within maybe the next day, a couple hours later, I was like, so it happened. Thanks, man. And he's like, damn, that looks fantastic, dude. Thank you for the help. So be sure to follow Diego. That's why I love this community, man. One hand washes another. And as much as I like to help people, even I like to get help. So thank you, man. Believe me, I searched the web for some reference shots on a Venom Iron Man, but I couldn't find anything. There was only one comic cover that had a Venomized Iron Man, and it kind of looked all spiky. It reminded me of Mania, and I didn't want to do that, so I just went with this. And again, I think this is probably the best Iron Man body next to this one. All I have is this Iron Skull, but it is the same base um, from the Thanos wave that Iron Man has. And I didn't use the Iron Skull body because the War Machine head doesn't really fit on that body. It sits too low. It makes him look like he has no neck. So I had to use the Iron Patriot body. But here's another Venomverse custom you may have seen before, but not necessarily this one because this is version 2.0. It's a brand new one. New head. It's a whole new Wolverine. Iron Skull. Um, the Iron Man body. Articulates very well. So these two bodies, I will have to say, thumbs up, and the rest of the Iron Man's, no good. One more from the Venomverse, the leader himself, Captain America. Wow, I mean, I don't know, I like it. I didn't think I'd be able to pull it off. I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, you guys are going to have to tell me when we pop these reviews up. But there's so many Venom customs I've already made, I can't wait to show you guys. But this is not a bad custom, I think. What do you guys think, of course? It only matters what you think. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this custom and you want to see more Spider-Man customs or Venomverse customs, feel free to like, comment down below, and subscribe for more stuff. And hit that notification bell if you want to get notified when stuff gets uploaded. Thanks, y'all.